Hey guys, and welcome to today's vlog. It's another eventing vlog. So apparently I'm an eventer now. Two events in three weeks. So yes, today we have a horse trials that Rocky and I are going to. In, um, it's at Ballarat. And we've done by the grade three, which is 80 centimeters. The same as what we did last time. So hopefully it goes just as well if not a little bit better. Um, we have been really practicing our dressage. Like really, 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 really practicing it. The only problem was that yesterday there was a huge thunderstorm. There was lashing rain, so I was able to ride him yesterday, which is like the most important day, um, the day before the show. But anyway, we'll just have to deal with that. And yeah, today we have the dressage and the show jumping. Um, the dressage test is not too bad. Um, yeah, we just like have been really working on our counter transitions. I feel like that's our biggest weakness, and the rest isn't too bad. Our halts. I really hope he does a good halt. He does them really good at home. I think at the show he just gets a bit excited. So yeah, there are two main things I reckon for this show. Then the show jumping is on in the afternoon today. Last show he was clear. So hopefully we get another clear round, see how that goes. And then tomorrow we have the cross country and last, the last event, he was really, really good. He was a little bit spooky at the start, a little bit getting used to it. So hopefully he comes out a little bit, like knows what it's all about again. And the only thing was the water last time. So during the week I brought him to like a, a reservoir that's near us and I like rode him through the water, rode him over little streams, and he was really, really good by the end. So hopefully a clear shirt, clear, clear cross country. What more could we want? Um, so yeah, not asking much, just like a really good dressage and clear show jumping, clear dressage, or sorry, clear show jumping and clear cross country. That's all. So yeah, I'm excited. Um, so it is not that early, like half six, and I'm going to get them ready. And it's a two hour drive. So yeah, just cleaned my tack and packed the car. Just gonna finish packing the float, the horse box, and then go and get him and groom him. And I didn't get to plaid him last night or anything because as I said, as I said, it was lashing rain. So I'm gonna have to do that now. All good. So here's the boy. Good boy, Rocky. Boy. Someone explain to me why Rocky has the longest, thickest mane. Like it is seriously chunky. And like he will not grow a tail. <laughs> he just has a little, I know it's not that bad, but like it's quite thin. We should lovely luscious tail. Like look how thin it is at the top. But then this mane. Also look how long and thick it is. And I need to plait it. I do not have time to trim it and thin it and stuff. It's just gonna have to plait it like that. So he's gonna have golf balls instead of rosebuds. Sorry, mate. Or what are we in? I feel like when I was a kid, we used to call them like, like cabbages instead of rosebuds. <laughs> Sorry, Rocky. Alrighty, plaits are done. And we need to leave right now, Rocky. And I haven't even hooked up the float yet. Oh no. It'll be all right. All right, I'm gonna hook up the float. I'll rosebud them when we get to the show. Good boy. All right, we're all loaded up and ready to go, Rocky. Good boy. Straight out the window. What are you looking at? No, we're not quite there yet. We've literally driven one meter. <laughs> okay, good boy. We have arrived. That's the show jumping arena. These are all the dressage arenas. I'm going to be in that ring there. Okay, the boy is ready. Hey, Rocky. You're very cute. This is not your best angle. Turn around and we get a nice picture of you. Come on. Good boy. Oh yeah, you're looking very cute. Good boy. Right, let's go be calm and do some dressage, please. Thank you.
We just finished our dressage. That was the best dressage he's ever done. Well, I haven't actually watched the video, but it felt so good. So good. Anyway, I'm gonna go walk, walk across country, but like the kind of transitions were calm, the halts were halting, was trotting, the circles were circling. I did. I didn't do like a perfect circle a couple times. I let him down this time. But he was so good and so calm and so audible and just, yeah, he was just so, so good. I'm so happy with him. I'm actually so happy with him. I was like quite like, like, I think I was more nervous because I put in like a huge amount of work this week to like try and make it like perfect. I think I'll, that puts pressure on me then because I'm like, like there's more at stake. I'll be more disappointed if it goes badly because I've tried so hard. Um, but no, paid off. I will say, because we've been doing flat out dressage all week, we have not jumped. So we'll see how the show jumping goes. But we have practiced the water, so the cross country should go good. But I'm gonna walk it now and see if there's anything we need to be worried about. So yeah, delighted. I'm not gonna forget number one, because it's literally in front of the starting gate. And then we have number two. This is quite nice. And then we have our double. Here's our water jump, bit of a drop, and then we go through the water, out, and then over that one there. And down the hill, so that white fence. over the little rolly thing, around the little pond, the skinny. It's not that skinny though, so it'll be totally fine. Roll top, down a, down a dip, and then over the brush. I keep forgetting to video, hence you just see the back of all the jumps. So next one, the yellow one, 16. Number 15 is a ditch brush thing. It's not too bad. Just having a ham, or sorry, cheese and tomato croissant, a little iced chocolate, treat myself. Watching some dressage. I'm waiting for our show jumping. Now we've watched the cross, we've walked across country. All right, it's now time to walk the course. Just 80 centimeters, two doubles. One's a double verticals. Let's see how careful he's feeling today. Ready for show jumping, Rocky. It's our show jumping arena. Get plenty of time. We have a little warm up and then get going. This is the cross country here to our right. Luckily all the cross country is on tomorrow, so there's no horses galloping around. But tomorrow that'll be us, Rocky, galloping around through the water, hopefully. Rocky, you done your show jumping? Having a good drink. Hello guys. So I've just done my show jumping and giving the cross country course one more walk before I head home for the evening. Rocky was a good boy. He well, didn't jump his best that I know he can, that we all know he can do, but he only touched one pole. So I can't really complain. Um, he just wasn't jumping, you know, like as good as I know he can. I think a combination of not having done any grid work or any jumping during the week, 
Also the fences were, you know, not that big, so he wasn't really, you know, didn't really have to back off them. Hey guys, and good morning. Um, very sorry about the abrupt end to yesterday's vlog, but my phone ran out of memory and I just needed to sit down last night and just delete so many videos and put some onto my computer. So I now have loads of space for all my rambling. Um, so yes, today is Sunday, it's now the next day. So today we have our cross country. I'll pick up kind of where I left off. I think I remember. Um, I was talking about our show jumping round. Oh, was I actually? I think I was. Anyway, just the pull down. Not his best round of show jumping, but not his worst either. He was definitely very rideable. Um, it's actually a very nice course. And yeah, just a little bit unlucky with the double verticals. Um, bit of a combination of, you know, little small little fence and um haven't really done any grid work or anything like that the last two weeks actually so that'll be it but yeah the dressage was super i've actually watched back the test now and i'm very very happy with it probably could just let him go a little bit more now just trust him a little bit more whereas before i was always quite hesitant to let him go in case he kind of just didn't come back but now i think we have the basics down um and today's cross country also, my friend Andy lent me a cross-country watch, which is so exciting. So I'm gonna actually know what time I'm doing. Oh dear, let me just put the halter on. So I'm not sure if I said, but yesterday in the dressage we got 66%, which obviously sounds not as good as my last um, dressage test. But in the last dressage test, the judge was marking extremely easily. Um, whereas today, she was just a little bit more tough, I suppose. I don't know. I, yeah, obviously don't really know much about dressage, but um, I kind of just base it on where I am in the pack. <laughs> and after dressage, we were eighth out of about 27 people, which is really quite good. And he was the second highest placed thoroughbred. So that's also really good because, you know, um, I'm not gonna say anything negative about thoroughbreds. Scratch that. He was the second highest placed thoroughbred. It's just good. And, um, then after show jumping, we had our pole, but we actually stayed in eighth place because, you know, a few people below me went clear and they went up, but a few people above me had poles down, they went down, and I just ended up in the exact same place. <laughs> so we're in eighth going into cross country. Come on! I so want to go clear, like, so want to go clear. If we go clear, we have a really good chance of placing. Um, placing is top six, by the way. So. Fingers crossed! Um, yeah, fingers crossed it all goes well. There's also a prize for highest placed off the track thoroughbred, I think. But that other thoroughbred is still still in front of us, so... I say, I reckon your thoroughbreds in cross country, they love it. So I reckon she'll be winning that prize, but... Um, yeah, really excited. I am a little bit late, just gonna give Rocky his feed. A lot of flies about. And then we're gonna hit the road. So I'll catch you guys when we get there. But we're here, I'm ready to go, got my number, got my back tech drawn, ready to rock and roll. We have 40 minutes to warm up, so plenty of time. I'm gonna go get gear check done, warm up nice and slowly, go through my course and make sure I remember it. Guys, how do you remember these courses if they're super long? Like long and twisty. Anyway, I've taken photos of all the jumps, so I'm gonna look through them now and make sure I don't forget any. So I will be I think they are filming the whole round, so I'll be buying that and putting that in, and that is the next thing you're going to see. Um, so I'll see you after I ride. Fingers crossed.
Best boy, finish your cross country. Well done. So we are done cross country now. He was so great. The improvement from last first trials to this one is insane. Like from the very start, the very first jumps, he was just taking me. We were jumping off a great stride. It felt so good. Um, we were clear jumping, but we had some time faults. So because he had the spook of the water last time i wanted to really set him up for success and make sure it was a really good experience so i went around i went through the water i didn't cross my tracks and then i came to the jump so he went straight into the water because it was just like a, a path down and he went straight in had a little splash around came out and then presented to the log drop into the water and he had a little hesitation i gave him a little tap which i never actually done before and then he jumped in so i was really really happy with that he, you know to go straight in everything um you know to not have a fault of the water was really really great but because of that i knew i really had to make up time and i did really gallop but quite a few times he had a couple of big slips because it's been raining here and he doesn't have shoes he doesn't have studs on so he was slipping quite a bit so i did have to just uh, i went where i could but around all the corners I really had to sit him up because he was his back end was just slipping um, around the corners so really steadied him up it did give me nine time faults oh, which means we ended in ninth the place um but yeah just for context if we hadn't had any time faults we would have came fourth so good. and he's well capable of not getting time faults it's just because I took a detour wanted to make it a nice confident round good vibes um and they were he was so confident, he was so good. He just eats it up and he knew well he was doing cross country today because as soon as I started jumping a little log in the warm up, he was, you know, trying to buck and he was so excited and oh, he loved it. I was so happy with him, so, so pleased. It was so much fun as well. And the course was so nice, other than just being a bit slippy, but that's nothing like, nothing you can do about that other than put studs in, but I don't have shoes on him. But yeah, he, he was just class, so good. So I'm so excited for next year to do some proper events on him because he can do it guys, he can do it. Like that was out of a big enough class of like 27 people. So if you can place ninth with time faults and a pole. 
sky's the limit, Rocky. Sky is the limit. So I'm gonna let him chill out here now for a bit and then I have to do jump judging for the grade five because you have to like do, um, do a volunteer job to enter so they have enough people. Um, so I'm doing that, but it's not for a couple of hours. So I might get something to eat and chill out. And yeah, thrilled, just so thrilled. Nice view of the cross country, there's the water. I'm just about to start jump judging at this fence here, this log. Yeah, some place. Definitely gonna see if we can come back here and go cross country schooling. It's bloody amazing, it just goes for miles. Rocky's had his feed and he's out in the field now. Enjoying the much nicer Bendigo weather compared to Ballarat.